Hey guys, Mr. Meisis here, and this is uh, the last one in 2-4 for essentials of the calculus, alternate form of the limit definition of the derivative. So what the alternate form is good for, it's good for when you want the value of the derivative at a single point. So notice the other ones here that we did in previous problems, we were looking at the derivative with respect to uh, t or with respect to some variables, and we were finding a, a function at the end. This one, we're looking actually at a point. So we're looking for the derivative at a point. And we can use this f prime of c equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c. It's basically the same idea, but instead of the delta x, we already know that we have a c. We have a c, which is our value of the derivative that we're trying to find. And our delta x is the difference between x and c, so we're just going to go and plug in at x minus c to begin with. All right, so this is a nice little formula if you know that you're looking for f prime of that certain number. So we'll do limit as x approaches 3 of f of 3, oops, f of x minus f of 3 over x minus 3. All right, so we're going to figure this limit out, x cubed minus, um, that's going to be 3 times 3 times 3, 27 over x minus 3. Now there are a couple of ways that we can do this here. We can either use uh, what we call the, the difference of difference of two cubes, or we can just do some long division. Um, so if you don't remember the difference of two cubes, we'll do a little bit of long division here. Um, so we're doing x cubed minus 27. Put a little space there. So then we're going to have uh, x squared. That's x cubed minus 3x squared. And then bring down the 0x, right? So then we're going to have plus 3x. 3x squared minus 9x. Minus 27. And then that's going to be plus 9. And then we should get it to work out perfectly okay so then this is what we're going to have on top so we're going to factor that limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 over x minus 3 these simplify out so we have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 3x plus 9 and then we'll plug in 3 and we'll get uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 27, or 3. Uh, 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 9 plus 9, and is 27. Okay? So that is um, the alternate form of the derivative where you can use it for a derivative of a single point. See you next time, guys. Bye.